I'm the Vivid End, T-Rex could bench press a polar bear, and most people just don't understand paleontology. Like, at all. Here are the five most common misconceptions about dinosaurs that a lot of people on the street think are true. 1. T-Rex was the biggest dinosaur. <laughs> T-Rex was the most massive theropod, with the larger specimens pushing 9 tons. Various anithopods like Shuntungosaurus, Ceratopsians like Aotriceratops, and pretty much every two sauropod that ever evolved was more massive than any theropod. 2. Dinosaurs are extinct. <laughs> More than 13,000 species of theropods live in our modern world, ranging from fluffy speedsters to flying beasts that can be taught human language. It's no secret. Birds are dinosaurs. Thomas Huxley first noted the similarities in the 1860s, and it's now scientific canon that birds broke off from other theropods in the Jurassic period. 3. Dinosaurs were sluggish and unintelligent. <laughs> this viewpoint was pervasive until the early 70s, when the revolutionary paleontologist Robert T. Bakker pointed out anatomical and ecological similarities to modern birds and mammals. Even some non-avian dinosaurs, like Truodon, were extremely intelligent, sporting encephalization quotients comparable to dolphins. 4. Dinosaurs were an evolutionary dead end. <laughs> first off, we've already discussed how dinosaurs never went extinct in the first place. Secondly, non-avian dinosaurs were massively successful. They grew to the largest size ever attained by terrestrial vertebrates, an order of magnitude larger than extant elephants, diversified into incredible variety, dominated the tetrapod market share for 160 million years, and essentially became dragons. 5. All prehistoric reptiles were dinosaurs. Objective Objective fossils. Fossils. Dinosaurs are technically defined as diapsid archosaurs, with a radius 80% smaller than the humerus, an asymmetrical fourth trochanter on the femur, an upright leg stance, and a concave ischial separation. Organopsids, plesiosaurs, mosasaurs, labyrinthodons, pterosaurs, and the many other ancient reptiles that shared the Mesozoic world don't match those characteristics. It's a bit like saying a fruit bat is a bear. Phylogenetically, that's a weak allegory, but you get the point. It's more like confusing your sibling with your cousin. They share a common ancestor, but are completely different people. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more paleontology content. Vividan out.